God and God's Son bless you. I was reading online about evil's manifestation and I stumbled upon some pints that I will like to share with you. So, listen to this. All Italian exorcists warn the Vatican of the dangers of beautiful young vampires and satanic yoga. The proliferation of beautiful young vampires in TV series and Hollywood films including True Blood and the Twilight movies is encouraging young people to dabble with occult forces, a leading authority on demonic possession has warned a Vatican-backed exorcism course. There are those who try to turn people into vampires and make them drink other people's blood, or encourage them to have special sexual relations to obtain special powers, said Professor Giuseppe Ferrari at the meeting in Rome, which heard that the number of such possessions is rising globally. These groups are attracted by the so-called beautiful young vampires that we've seen so much of in recent years. True Blood starring Rutina Wesley and Kristen Bauer Van Stratton, is one of the cult vampire series apparently fueling occult pursuits. Professor Ferrari, who heads an Italian occult watchdog, the group on research and socio-religious information, said exorcisms should only be conducted by properly trained priests. Although the Vatican regards genuine demonic possession as rare, with many suspected cases proving to be people with mental illnesses, Pope Francis has urged dioceses to ensure that they follow Catholic law and have at least one trained exorcist each. Swiss exorcist Father Cesar Trucchi told The Independent that this week's course, attended by exorcists, priests, and lay people, was vital in order to raise awareness and hone priests' skills in fighting evil. The ministry of performing exorcism is little known among priests. It's like training to be a journalist without knowing how to do an interview, he said, noting that dioceses in Italy and beyond were experiencing a surge in reports of symptoms of possession. In 2012 it emerged that the Diocese of Milan, the biggest in the world, had installed an exorcism hotline to cope with demand. Monsignor Angelo Mascherani, Milan's chief exorcist, said that his diocese had doubled the number of exorcists from 6 to 12 to cope with the 100 percenter rise in Indiana the number of requests for help over the last 15 years. That has to tell us something, said Father Cesar. He claims to have seen possessed people speaking in tongues and exhibiting unearthly strength, including one small woman, who could not be pinned down by three strong men. Father Cesar is a protege of Father Gabriel Emmerth, the Vatican's chief exorcist for 25 years, who claims to have dealt with 70,000 cases of demonic possession. Father Emmerth said that sex abuse scandals in the Roman Catholic Church were proof that the devil is at work inside the Vatican. He took a similarly dim view of fantasy novels and yoga. Practicing the latter, he once warned, was satanic, it leads to evil just like reading Harry Potter. Gay rights and IVF fertility treatment were listed as signs of existential evil in society by Monsignor Luigi Negri, the Archbishop of Ferrara Comicchio. There's homosexual marriage, homosexual adoption, IVF, and a host of other things. There's the clamorous appearance of the negation of man as defined by the Bible, he declared. Exorcism Guidelines Don't try this at home. Professor Giuseppe Ferrari gave delegates at the Vatican-backed course a checklist for improve the effectiveness of exorcisms. Asterisk exorcisms should only be carried out by properly trained priests, licensed to do so by the diocese in which they work. Priests cannot perform exorcisms in different dioceses without special permission. Asterisk lay people should never perform exorcisms, 
say the special prayers of liberation, nor bless or touch a possessed person. Asterisk exorcists should defer to qualified doctors or psychiatrists, though priests may help by praying. Asterisk priests should not perform the Eucharist during an attempt to exorcise somebody because that can make the process too Hollywood. Asterisk priests must welcome and pay heed to anyone who reports that a demonic possession may have taken place. Asterisk exorcists should consider the possibility that symptoms may be due to known medical conditions and seek appropriate professional advice if they suspect this to be the case. It is very serious deal it is not for amateurs and is not half-backed nonsense that is presented in movies. Like already mentioned or, witchcraft or wish master types and so on, they are many, and did you all see that solution is some mystical blend of nonsense, or the problem is solved with gun power, probably advertising to gun seals and manufacturing, they will show you everything else than mentioning Jesus Christ's name. Asking for forgiveness and protection of Jesus Christ the Father and the Holy Spirit. Hollywood so-called silver screen virtual reality, will screw with reality the mind and misled in action against of evil. God and Jesus Christ bless you all. God and God's Son bless you. I was reading online about evil's manifestation and I stumbled upon some pints that I will like to share with you. So, listen to this. All Italian exorcists warn the Vatican of the dangers of beautiful young vampires and satanic yoga. The proliferation of beautiful young vampires.